Hi and welcome to section 5 Design Patterns uh, with the Selenium Web Driver. We learned a lot in previous section about finding elements on the page by their ID, name, class name, CSS selector, link text, partial link text, tag name and XPath using Selenium Web Driver API commands. And also we have seen about waiting for element to appear before taking any action on element. In this section, we will look at design pattern to maintain the web elements. We will learn uh, how to maintain the reusable page objects and page method in, in the application. In this section, we are going to take a look at different design patterns to maintain web elements in optimal way. We will start with the page object design pattern, then move to page factory concept and loadable components with the test examples. Let's start with the first video of this section using page object design pattern. The goal of this video is to create tests using page object design pattern to maintain the web elements and reusable page objects. Let's begin with the page object design concept to maintain web elements, then we will move to test example using page object design pattern. Let's first understand the page object design concept. Page object design pattern is used to create object repository for maintaining web elements. In this design pattern, for each web page on, in the application, there should be a corresponding page class to find web elements of uh, that web page, and uh, which also contains page methods, which perform operations on page web elements. The object repository is independent on uh, test cases for the reuse of page objects and uh, page methods. Page object pattern concept makes the code to be cleaner and easier to understand. Create page object like this. This helps uh, to reuse the web elements on the page. Create separate page as chapter 2 which contains the uh, page elements uh, of uh, respective page of the application. This is how it looks in the Eclipse IDE with the pasted code. Create page objects using the line of the code, like this, for home page web elements. This web element helps to access uh, chapter 2 link uh, from any of the page methods of the home page class. This is how it looks in the Eclipse ID with the pasted code. Create a test class to access page method of the each page of the application. This is how we can create object repository using page object design pattern. This is how it looks in the Eclipse ID with the pasted code. Now you can run the code by right click on the code or Java file name and choose run as GUnit or testng test, whatever you use. In this video, we learn how to create object repository for any web elements and made separate class for each page for page object and page methods reusable in the application. 